Okay. Well, as usual, we got to start with our Orango Bitters. I think this is going to be a long one, so you might want to not pay attention to this one. Because remember, this channel originally was just for me to, it's like a memoir I've been doing since 2014. I don't know, this channel's been in existence since 2011 or something like that, but I've been doing this kind of thing since 2014. So I'm supposed to just be chronicling my, my life, and then this whole thing starts to happen. ADO has happened, and now this happened. Anyway, Marango Bitters, let me tell you what's in it. That's all. We'll take a lot of time now. We say, wait, well, let's take some because look at that. See all them things? That's what's in it. And this is like two columns. Two. Things like moringa leaf, moringa um, seed. Uh, uh, these are all organic. Everything is organic. So I won't say organic. Okay. A black seed, burdock root, sheep sorrel, slippery elm, milk thistle seed, echinacea something, uh, bitter melon. Pocket the Yaka, Pocket the is great. Oh, Pocket the Yaka. Learned that from Dr. Dr. Moore, Johnny Moore. You don't, you don't know him. Pre, precursor of Dr. Sabi. Precursor to even, um, what's that boy? Uh, Gary No. Gary No got a lot of stuff from Dr. Moore. No way. These are things that you don't know. Don't worry about it. I, I hung out. Dr. Moore used to be the um, the herbologist for my for, for No More Radio. Radio program. You know No More Radio. No More Radio. You see? No More Radio. Okay. Anyway. But Pocket the Yaka is great. For immune system, really great. Um, neem leaf, I found neem, neem in, in India, man. I, um, I, I do neem, I have a neem toothpaste now. Um, ginger root, Cape aloe, Cape aloe. Cape, they mean, Cape, they mean South Africa. They, South Africa's got a lot of aloe. Oof, my goodness. Yeah, I got aloe going in, the, in this yard there. Um, I'm speaking of Cape Town. Hey, happy birthday to my wife. It's a birthday. I can't be there. She's there. I'm here. <sighs> happy birthday, baby. Um, Mahogany bark, hyssop, uh, ginkgo bobea, you know that thing, you know that ginkgo stuff everybody got all enamored with a few years ago. Turmeric, I found turmeric in India too. I put I put turmeric, I just had turmeric this morning. I had goat's goat's milk yogurt with uh, kiwi fruit. What else? Kiwi fruit, goat's milk yogurt. Oh, and uh, an avocado, in in a uh, goat's milk yogurt. And I put um, uh, I had a uh, cinnamon and um, and turmeric. Uh, let me see what else we got here. Uh, let's say organic, uh, uh, cumin seed, uh, organic, well, everything's organic, garlic, uh, cinnamon bark, golden seal, golden seal. I used to, I used to drink golden in the 70s. I, used to, I was working out furiously when I was doing a lot of playwriting. I used to have, every morning I used to have pure, just golden seal tea. Nasty stuff. Well, it wasn't nasty after a while. You get used to the taste. That's what. Hey, by the way, if you look, cut down on your sugar, cut down on your salt, so the taste of this stuff can come through, and you won't be so you know put off by it. Uh, uh, plantain leaf. Oh, plantain, plantain, plantain. From you know, plantain. I love plantain. Uh, Saw pimento. No, but the nettle leaf, funnel, uh, fennel, the fennel. You know, fennel, fennel. F e n n e l. You know, I think this is good for your bowels, something like that. Uh, so, uh, fenugreek seed, uh, angelica root, angelica, another good thing. Oh, sienna, oh, sienna, again, for your bowels, but, oh, sienna, man, it's just rough for me. I don't like this, I don't like to do this stuff that has a lot of sienna and things. I just don't like it. Uh, birch bark, uh, marshmallow roots, chickweed, and hawthorn berries. That's all in this other ingredients, uh, uh, is ultra purified, ultra purified water. I'm telling you, if you're old and you're not taking a tonic, you should have your little flask, then you don't know what you're missing. You're, you're missing the thing about being an old person on the planet. Okay, so I pour some of my uh, stuff in there. You're supposed to do about two ounces. I don't, you know, I just put stuff in. I don't care, you know. So put that in a second. They don't say refrigerate after open. It just sits right there. I don't know. Maybe I should put it in the refrigerator, but I don't think I will. Ah. Oh. Well, that's going to go good. And now, oh, let me get my stuff going on here. I don't have. Sorry. It's taking a long time. Hey, I apologize ahead of time. But, you know, these things go the way they go. I put some apple juice. This is supposed to be fresh pressed apples and concentrate. Concentrate, you know what I mean. Concentrate has a basically a sugar water. I won't get into that. I put the apple juice in there. 
Then I'm going to add my stuff. See? My pure cranberry concentrate to the apple juice. Got to make sure it's shaking up because this stuff, you know, pure. This is everything is there. Just a little bit, just a little dash. That lasts a long time. And here's the other one. And this is the one here. Pomegranate. This is blood pressure stuff. I got to tell you, my, my blood pressure has been staying the same with I, I don't know. I don't know about all these medicines, blood pressure medicines, whatever. I mean. Just do, I got to do some more good breathing. That's what I need to do. That's what I feel, you know? Okay. Mm. Mix this thing up. Put a bit of that product in there. Okay. Mix that up. And all my other pills I got over with at, at my undisclosed location. But B12 I have here, so I'm going to take a B12. Again, I don't know. I get, I, I have, still haven't looked it up, but I don't know why the doctors, the VA gave me B12. I have no idea why they did that. Are you sure? Well, why don't you ask me? I can just go to the, the, the med vet. There's just something on the computer I can go to check all my records and talk about, ask some questions. But, you know, I'm trying to stay away from the medical people. Why? Because they're overwhelmed as they were. I don't feel like, oh, oh yeah, here's, remember I had my Malcolm X and Adam Clayton Powell Jr. thing on? Right? I'm going to change that button. Because we got to talk about something else today. Let's change the button. What button am I going to put on? What button am I going to put on? Uh, oh, yeah, hey. Because this is going to be a long haul thing. Everybody thinks that's a long, I guess it's not going to be a marathon runner, but, but Jesse. Jesse Owens, you know, all adversity. The man born, did I tell you I read that book? when Because uh, Jesse Owens and, uh, and what's the name, the boxer, were friends in real life, you know? I to, didn't I have the book here someplace? Oh, here it is. Jesse Owens, Joe Lewis. I read this book. It's a great book. Interesting enough, it's, it's by a, a white South African. I, it's not my fault. It was a gift to me. See? This is a really good book. If you ever can get this book, especially if you're an athlete, especially if you're these one athletes that do whatever you all do, if it's your blinging and everything. These are the real, the, the, well, the original bling athlete was um, Jack Johnson, but, you know, Check this out if you can. In Black and White, The Untold Story of Joe Lewis and Jesse Owens by Donald McRae. Put out by somebody. Whatever book company. Got pictures in there and everything. <laughs> in this case. Okay, so I put Jesse on. Yeah. Maybe it's not coming on right. I mean, see, this is the thing. You, you have time now to set everything right. You should be cleaning up your house. And all the rest of the, you know, there we go. I guess that's all right. Okay, almost ready, almost ready. Boom, boom. Black people are so cool. I'm not saying that. Yeah, I'm a cool black person. Yes, I am. But, you know. I listened to that little Dr. Phil Valentine because, um, uh, who, who's, who's talking to him? Oh, Zoe Williams was talking to him, you know what I mean? I know Phil Valentine. No, I've been, well, for a long time. I know about Phil Valentine. And he's talking about melanin. I'm, I'm not going to say what it is. It's paraphrasing. But basically, you know how the melanin, that's basically, that's what that was, that's, that's what helps black people be cool. Melanin is in everything from the time, in this, the melanin is in this, eggs in the sperm, and this together, so you're melanated down, you know? And so the more melanin, well, the more melanin, melanin just gives you that, you, if you tap into it, then you you can be cool, man. Your swagger is chill, you see? Anyway, that's the point. Um, but what I'm talking about today. Oh, here's the thing. Man, I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. Stop listening to these white men, or white mentality men, especially. They created this situation. Do you think they're going to solve it in your favor? No, they are not. So why are you even listening to them? Yeah, but Dr. Richard Wolf, and how about you know, Jimmy Dore, and how about Joe Rogan? Okay, fine. You got some exceptions. 
But why are you listening? For instance, Cuomo. The governor of New York. Everybody, everybody's now governor crazy. Everybody, because there's no leadership at the very top. There's no leadership from the political wannabes. Like, you know, that you know, you know. The, the orange man is just a, his orange the orange chair, please. I don't even know why they give him any airtime. Right? Bernie it, I don't know what he's doing. Biden. What, what happened to Tulsi? And Yang Yang is over here some 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 news network. But Tulsi. I'm, I'm just talking about the, the regular people that you'll be talking about. I guess also politicians useless. That's why they, that's why I have to look at governors now. What governor can we get? Oh my gosh, they just look, you know. And Gavin Newsom looks good, and so they want to, you know. You have, to have anyway. My point really is this: Yo, stop listening to them. Now the new the, the attorney general, the, the 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 young black guy, you know, with the with the high voice, you know. I told us, okay, this is a joke. I'm sorry, I know it's a serious time, but let me just say something. I talked to my man. I said, he's got a problem. Surgeon, you know, that some authority surgeon has some specialty. General means, dun, 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 dun. does this guy look like a surgeon general? Okay, I'm, I'm leaving it go. But I haven't heard, I really haven't heard what he has to say. I've listened to what he has to say, really listen to him, because the visuals ain't good with this poor boy. And you know, you know, when white people pick you to do something, like nearly fully used to say what they used to do in the back in the day. I'm not saying that this boy is like this, but back in the day, what they used to do, they used to do the most placid, the most uh, feminine, you know, black guy would be running the elevators down in downtown like in the 30s and the 40s. You know, they'd be running in the 50s. They'd be running the elevators, you know, what I mean? because they can't have no real black man <laughs> being around them. They get intimidated. That's one of the things about Barack Obama. Barack Obama got over. Let me tell you how he got over. Up to that point, remember up to that point, ever from uh, um, Bush Senior, the, the, you know the Bush Senior guy, when he had that whole thing with the, uh, with the with with the with the, the guy that got out of prison, the black guy, big bruiser kind of, but they had the stereotype black guy. But all the movies, if you wanted, they, they were have big black guys getting beat up and whatever it happened. You want to show, so everybody has the big black guy. That's what we need. So it comes with Barack Obama, and he wasn't doing the wimpy thing, except for those mom that mom gene thing. That was really something. That was funny to me. That mom gene thing. Anyway, um, but it's but 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 they were thinking, okay, now we got a big black, but he smiles, you know, and da 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 da, and so this will be our guy, you know. He's not. He's, all I'm trying to say is, who are you going to listen to? I mean, I'd rather listen to Phil Valentine. Right now. Simple as that. I'd rather. There's a lot of people I'd rather listen to. And that's who I'm paying attention to. Then I'm gonna say real, real, real people. Again, I'm not saying I'm not saying white people. I'm talking about white mentality. That's the problem. These people. Do you actually think? I give you an example. Um, they were saying. Did I get this from Richard Wolf? They were saying like, for instance, if 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 you have if you had kept pace, you know, with everything fell apart in the, in the, in the seventies, early seventies, then you know things just started to separate. The rich started to get richer because they, they finally got this stuff to put in all their laws or buy off all, all these, these 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 placid politicians. The reason why you don't have good leaders right now is because all the politicians are placid. They, they are no, you understand? Anyway, back to the point. So, uh, 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 so what happens is from that point on, if, if you're, say for instance, the uh, minimum wage kept up with the real, that was really going on, the minimum wage right now would be $50 an hour. Think about it, fifty dollars an hour. Okay, so there, so your your politicians now they're, they're arguing about should it be fifteen dollars an hour? But what we say? Wait a second, if it's fifty dollars an hour, then I don't. What, how does that work out? Because what happened was that's money you're supposed to get. So what's 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 fifty, uh, forty, thirty five? So thirty five dollars instead of you getting it as a worker. What's happening is that thirty forty dollars is going into the, the the person, your boss, your the employee. They just, they just they basically every person that gets fifteen dollars, ten dollars. Just look, let's say if you get ten dollars an hour, that means that forty dollars, you actually are worth fifty dollars. But forty dollars are going to those people, those people that keep on subjugating you, that keep on buying off the politicians, and giving you plastic politicians that give you no leadership. You see, therein lies the problem. So you, you have a choice right now. You know, you could, you have a choice. Are you going to continue to listen to these idiots who have no vision for you and been taking money out of your pocket? 
okay? You're supposed to be getting $50 an hour, which basically means any you anywhere from $35 to $40 to $45, they are taken directly out of your pocket each and every hour that you are right now not working. So if you're going to reset anything, first thing I would do is say, hold on, we're going to stop everything. The very first thing I would do. Those cruise liners, all of the people like that, no, 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 no. We need that money for something else. We're in war footing right now. So every community, every zip code, we're going to get, you're going to get a 3D machine with, with regular, whatever, with polymorphs, but that they use, and a 3D machine from heavy metal. So every community, every zip code has, depending how big your zip code is, how many people in your zip code, you may have more than one 3D machine. Maybe put 3D machines in every uh, post office, whatever have you. So, so some, I don't know how you do it, so that, that we can make stuff ourselves. See how that easy way it was? I can solve that problem. Yeah. And I'm saying, I'm not even a no leader. Yes, you may not know if you ever got a, um, if you ever got an email from me. I follow no one and I seek no followers. So I don't need nobody to be listening to what I'm saying. I'm no Phil Valentine. I'm no, you know, whoever it is out there. So, but you, but guess what? You can make, people are making up their own mass. I've had this for you for years, you know. When I go out, I just do like this. Ta-da! And if I really wanted to get slick, I could just get paper towel, put some, some some peppermint oil or something like that in there. Put that in put paper towel, put that in there. A little bit of walk, and I'm cool. I can do it like that. You see? Easy. Now, there are all kinds of things online now where you can take these handkerchiefs and put little things in and make your own mask or whatever have you. Fine. But I'm a traveler. That's why I got this. Uh, this is a school of buff. I got another, got a few in South Africa too, but they're different colors. It's the only black one I have right now. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a little something to think about, something to do, because I know you're getting bored. I know you are. So now you got to start plotting and planning for when this thing ends. And are you going to let them do what they continue to do? Take that money out of your pocket? Or are you going to take that money back and make them pay your real wage? That's all I'm saying. Just a message from me. Take from the Pattersons taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. From an ADOS, that would be an ADOS, an ADOS reality. Oh, by the way, I'm probably not going to do a whole lot of ADOS kind of posting. I think I'm going to stay. I'm going to do more of my um, more of my undisclosed location things where I'm really a la natural because I just want to. Uh, you know, I just feel like it. I don't really have a whole lot of ADOS messages right now because uh, I usually react to um, uh, Antonio and, and, and Yvette go off what they say, try to support what they do, whatever it is. But nah, eh, I got other things to do right now. And so do you. Check you later.